makers of the Joe Thomas Signature Series, available exclusively at Dick's Sporting Goods. Now normally when I'm picking a jerkbait color, I'm going to pick the silvers and the golds, the bright colors that are going to stand out and really flash in the water. But today we had a condition on Lake St. Clair where the water was very clear. You can see down 8, 10, even 12 feet. And a lot of times that flash is just a little bit too much. And you have to pick colors that are more translucent and harder for the fish to see. It makes them look more natural to the fish. Today our key color was the ghost minnow. It's, it's real wispy and hard to see in the water and it was the key in catching fish today, I'm sure of it. Another color that I like a lot in those clear water conditions is another color that's translucent and that's called the ghost perch. The ghost sunfish or the ghost perch, either one, have, have that natural perch color, but, they're, but again, they've got that clear body which makes them a little more difficult to see. And finally, the one that I like a lot because I helped design it is the Aurora Ghost Shad. All of these translucent colors really make a difference when the water is super clear. And if you want more information on picking colors or any fishing situations, go to our website at realoutdoorstv.com. You know what I did, Jerry? I changed my cadence. Did I you? started pulling it and stopping it and just pulling it and stopping it. And the first time I did that, I got that bite. You know, you gotta be thinking all the time. I've been, you know, last half hour or so, I've been throwing that bait the same way and I just changed up. Fish is bigger than you thought he was. Yeah, he's not bad. Free. Yeah, he's close to it. Good fish. I'm gonna swing him in. Yeah, watch your legs there, big Jer. Coming in. All right, good fish. Good fish. Look at that thing, man. Just a healthy chunker. Healthy. And it's weird, you know, I, I was talking about earlier about the cadence and varying the cadence, and we hadn't had a bite in a little while. I varied the cadence and, and got a bite. Now, I'll, I'll know in a minute here whether it was really the deal or I just threw it into one's, one's area, but I think it had something to do with it. I really do. And we've got a little more wind too. That's got to have something to do with it. Now there's no way that you can jerk a deep diving jerk bait all day long without developing some fatigue. But there's a couple of things you can do to help combat that. One is use a six and a half or seven foot medium fast action rod. That's going to help you work the bait a little bit easier and make long casts. But more importantly, keep your shoulder and elbow as inactive as possible. Keep your rod tip low, keep your elbow near your side, and use your wrist and the rod to work the bait. If you do that, that's gonna put a lot more hours in your day. You're gonna be able to stand it. Now, if you get tired, just take a little break. Right it's there. like anything else. It's just like weightlifting. Ooh, you develop the muscles in your wrist, you're gonna feel better, and, and the more you fish it, the better you'll get at it, and the better your stamina will be. Take, take your time, buddy. Let me Let me swallow that sucker. Whoa, he's gonna jump in the boat with me. Watch your hands. Well, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Get that gun at Jerry. That sucker will not sit still. Get a net for him. He won't even let me belly. Watch yourself, Joe. There you go. Get him in here and get the pliers on. Unbelievable. Sometimes they get wild on them. Yeah, things. but before we take him off, I just want to say something, dude. It has been incredible, outstanding action, the deep jerk baits, Lake St. Clair. Jerry, can't thank you enough. I've had a great time. I hope you have too. I'm Joe Thomas. I'll see you next week on Steel's Reel in the Outdoors. Thanks again, man. All right. Good deal. Reel in the 